Is it really possible to take deep sky photos with nothing more than a mobile phone and a small telescope? You bet. Here's how. Hello, welcome to my channel Small Optics. My name is Jason and in this video we're going to be looking at uh, photography. Or should I say photography with a mobile phone. Now, before we start, please remember you're, you're not going to achieve photographs like this. After all, this is a mobile phone we're talking about. Okay, but uh, here's a photograph of the uh, Ring Nebula I took the other night. So the photograph's gonna be more like this. Okay, and I mean, that's not bad to say that's an object, you know, over 2,000 light years away, you know, when you, you're capturing it on your mobile phone. Well, let's get into the method of, of how you actually do this and the uh, equipment that you're going to need. Okay, now, now don't worry, it's not a lot of equipment and most of it you're going to have, already have. Okay, obviously you're going to need a telescope. Uh, don't worry about size and aperture whether it's a refractor or a reflector okay it, it's uh, this is going to work for for uh, both types of uh, so I say or even a cassegrain this is going to this is going to work okay um you're obviously going to need a phone we'll talk about the phone in a minute and the obvious one is one of these contraptions now this one is one of the cheaper ones they come in many different guises um if you're going to do a lot of this photography, I probably would recommend getting the slightly more deluxe version, purely because it has like uh, slow motion controls, if you like, uh, to help calibrate uh, the eyepiece uh, with the bracket, okay? Um, but this simply uh, will accept most phones. Um, in fact, I haven't found a phone that it's not uh, suitable for. And what happens here is, you would just slide your phone in there, okay, and tighten it up, and that locks it in. Um, a little word of warning though, something that doesn't come in the instructions, most phones <laughs> have buttons on the side. So make sure that when you're actually clamping this, that you make sure that you, you, you do this somewhere, uh, that it's not obviously pressing your buttons down and putting your your phone into some strange mode or whatever um, okay so that's what you're going to need you're going to need and we'll talk about how you actually uh, set the eyepiece up with one of these in, in, in a short while okay like I say you can pick these up really cheap I've had this one whew, I must have had this one a couple of years uh, this part's plastic the, the screws are metal, um, in fact it's mainly all, all, all plastic, but it's been fine, you know, it's it's done the, it's done the trick for, for two years, it's not broken, uh, like I say, I do use it quite a lot. So that's one of them, you can pick these up offline, or online, sorry, um, like I say, pretty cheap, they are different versions, prices vary, just have a shop around, uh, and this is what you're going to Okay, um... Now let me just move on to the phone. Now this part's important, okay? You're going to need a phone with the ability to put it in manual mode. Um, that simply means so you can control the exposure um, and especially the um, time exposure, uh, the uh, shutter speed, sorry. Um, now, if you have, if your phone doesn't have this function of of uh, being able to put it into manual mode, don't worry. There is apps that you can actually download uh, onto your phone and give you all the settings that you're going to need. Uh, I'll put some links in the description uh, of some apps I've used and do use uh, to, to get you started. Okay, so that's something you you need to do. And let's just take a look how you need to set your phone up. If you're in your uh, camera app, first of all, what you want to do is go down to where it says your ISO or your, oh well, shutter speed here. We'll do a shutter speed because that come up first. Okay, and you want to be setting this round about three seconds. Okay, not much more than three seconds because 
the type of photography we're going to do, um, you don't need a mount 2.5. We'll even go for 2.5. That should be enough. You don't. Sorry, you don't need a mount that's going to have uh, a motor on it. Okay. Um, this is going to be the very basic way of just capturing some uh, pretty cool images, actually. Uh, so, and any more than this uh, shutter speed, you're going to get a lot of star trails. Okay, you're going to get big lines, and we don't want that. So, around about two to three seconds, you can actually get away with it. Um, you will get it a little bit, you know. This is mobile phone astrophotography, after all. It's not, you know... Um, the actual ideal way of doing it but it does work okay so into your ISO settings okay now you want to set this up probably to as far as your phone will go well in my case it'll only go to 32 all right 3200 so set it round about 3200 for now okay so so far we've got a two two to three second shutter speed and we've got a uh, 3200 ISO okay the other thing you need to do is go over to your focus and you want to set this into manual, okay, whatever that is. Okay, so your focus is now manual, so it's the telescope that's going to focus the image, not the camera. Okay, that's important. And the final thing that I would recommend doing is setting your timer. Okay, set it for around about the th uh, three to four seconds after you've pressed the button. Um, because obviously you're going to be pressing the button, the camera, uh, the, the telescope is going to be wobbling a little bit, and you don't want it wobbling when it's uh, exposing or taking the uh, image. So, or even better than that is one of those little Bluetooth remote controllers, yeah, that you may have seen. If you've got one of those, even better. So, apart from that, I think we're all pretty set up now. Now, the way to know that you your um, phone set up ready for deep sky photography is to now just take a sample shot okay so take your phone don't aim it at anything in particular and hit a shot now when this check it and it should look like this <laughs> okay if it looks like that totally overexposed and just a big white screen you've cracked it and you're all ready to now attach this to your telescope. Okay, so we've got our phone camera all set up now, ready for deep sky um, imaging. So we now introduce our um, little phone holder. Okay, now like I say, when, when you're putting your phone into one of these, just make sure that you, these uh, little clamps here are not touching any of power buttons or anything okay because uh, believe me I, I've been there and wondered why is my phone why is that why is that doing this and <laughs> couldn't stand what wouldn't take a picture it was actually pressing buttons down okay now don't worry too much about the position of this for a minute because now we're going to introduce the eyepiece okay now um, I would advise if you can to use two eyepieces of roughly the same uh, focal length. Ex exactly, if you've got two eyepieces that are identical, the better, okay? Uh, because once this is set up, and we're gonna be using quite low eyepiece, like low powered eyepieces, I mean, I'm just gonna be using the 25, okay? And this one's a 23. So there's not much difference. But once all this is set up, Okay, you want a similar eyepiece that you can just use with your scope to get the original target that you're going to be uh, taking a photograph. Make sure you've got it in the field of view. Okay, because it's, when it's all pitch black out there and you're just looking at black screens, it can be a little bit tricky. So just having that spare eyepiece that you can just keep taking this setup out, uh, which I'll show you how to do in a minute, just to keep checking that you know, you've got the uh, target in the field of view is very handy thing to have. So, if your eyepiece has an eye cup on it, one of these rubber eye cups, okay, the first thing to do is remove it, okay, and if you just carefully pull it off like this, all right, we can get rid of that, we don't need that while we're doing, uh, it'll just get in the way, okay. Now, the way to think of this, we're now going to introduce this up to the lens of the uh, of the of the phone okay 
And the way this type of photography works, it's a, it's a little bit like what we used to call a focal photography, where the camera is just being replaced, uh, sorry, the, IP, the, the eyeball is just replaced by the camera. Okay, you're still putting the camera up to the eyepiece, but instead of a, um, an eye being there, you've got a camera. So the way to position this eyepiece, or should I say the distance, is really to think about the eye relief of the, uh, of the eyepiece. If the eye relief is something like this, then that is where you need to be positioning how far it should be away from the camera lens, okay? If you get these too close, you're just gonna get, you know, you'll just get nothing, basically. There is a fine line where how far this needs to be uh, away from the camera lens, okay? So roughly set it where you think um, it should be, okay? And this, these just clamp down like this, and the, you know, it's pretty, they're pretty self-explanatory how these work. Um, and we just turn this top screw, and now that's locked the eyepiece in place, okay? Make sure that's well secure, because you don't want things sliding off. Leave this one, and you'll see you have another adjusting screw here in the middle. Now this can be positioned either there or there, okay? Now that all depends on the size of your phone, uh, I believe this one's going to work, yeah, this one will work just fine where it is, okay, but you, you may need to swap it onto that one, okay. Now, the next step to do with this is, uh, I should have said this at the start really, uh, you need to be doing this really in the daytime. That is uh, setting this part up, because what we're going to do next is, uh, well actually you can switch your camera on at this point, okay. Um, if I can get to the buttons, can't get to the buttons now. There we go. You can you can switch your camera on at this point. Let's just get back into it. There you go. And you'll get something like this, okay? But don't be fooled. That might not be right yet. You you can set this up at night time. Believe me, I've I've done this and I and I set it up like that. I think well, there it is. It's it's got to be you know uh, right that. And I've got out there and all I can see is a black screen. So once you set it up so you're getting something like this, you then want to put it into your telescope, okay? And like I say, in the daytime, and just focus on a tree or whatever it may be, and just make sure that you're getting a nice image here, okay? Um, and, and once it's clear, you know, that's it, you're ready. You're ready to go, but you may need to just adjust just a little bit as you can see if I'm moving it left and right you know you, 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 you may have to move the phone up and down a little bit and that's where these better um, phone and eyepiece holders come into play really because you know it takes out a lot of fiddling about but believe me do this in the daytime and have this already set up like this for when it goes dark and you're all ready to take it out the other thing you can do, um, once you're in this mode and set up, uh, you can just pinch zoom, just a little bit like that, just to take out the the circle of the eyepiece. All right. Don't do this too much. All right. Don't be tempted to zoom right in to think you're giving yourself more power and you're going to see it because all you'll do is get a pixelated mess. Okay, in the actual finished photograph. So just make sure you. I mean, you don't even. I, to be honest, I don't tend to zoom in really because you can't see this black circle anyway um, against the, the night sky and you always run the risk of zooming in too much and like I say causing that graininess pixelation that you'll get in your final photograph. Now you're ready um, that's about as much as I can really show you uh, it's just a case of now it's going out and like I say you want to have go armed with another eyepiece and I would recommend doing this on low power. I mean, uh, the image here, this, this image here of the Ring Nebula that I took the other night, I mean, that was taken with uh, this 25mm. Okay, so that was approximately 36 times. Okay, so, so you're not gonna need a lot of magnification. And remember, as soon as you start piling magnification up, the field of view's going down, your light's also going down. And because we're on entry level mounts here, um, you know, it's not going to be stable. And we all know magnification also equals 
vibration magnification. So if you if you're magnifying hundred times, you've got to remember every vibration that you introduce to the telescope is also magnified a hundred times. Okay, so you don't need a lot of uh, magnification when doing this type of photography. So take it out. Okay, so so for. For instance, if you're going for the Ring Nebula like I went for, um, it's quite easy to find in Lyra. It's probably one of the easiest uh, deep sky ob objects to find because it's directly between the two bottom stars of the constellation. And try and find it first in your, let, let's call it your finder eyepiece, okay? And once you've got it in field of view, now at 36 times the Ring Nebula is really going to look tiny, okay? Um, it, it, it really, it'll more look like a fuzzy star, like an out of focus star at this power. Um, but, but doing this three to four times, well, more four, three second exposure, you're going to get, you know, you will be able to see the, you'll not get the center star, obviously, but you will just see it as a, I like to call it a polo mint, okay? Look like polo mint in the sky. Uh, just with uh, just with low power. Have fun with this. Give it a good go. Uh, you, you you really can get some uh, fantastic uh, results, really, <laughs> considering it's a mobile phone. And uh, like I say, if you've got any questions, just let me know. In the meantime, have fun. I will see you all in the next one. Take care. Bye.